So this is a lantern. And a lantern is the shape of a rectangle, um, of four rectangles and one square. So it will be a rectangular prism when it's finished. And we will have an opening in the top because we will either put a tea light or a real candle inside. So um, I have the bottom and I had cut these out earlier with my template. And this was three by three inches. I did go ahead and roll it out a little bit more to get it to be a little wider so that I have room to attach all the sides with a little bit of extra space. Um, so now before I put it this together, these are leather hard, so you can see they are pretty firm. So if you do this part of the project too early where you cut holes, you'll end up getting um, more tearing going on instead of um, crisp cut, uh, cut lines like this. So you can make every side different. You can make them all the same. You can make them asymmetrical, symmetrical. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there. That's enough holes for this lantern. And I'm gonna show you how to put, put it together. So first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to score. You're just scratching up the bottom so that you have places for the water to go in between and the surfaces that are uneven will stick better together than two smooth surfaces. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, put a little water on there, is put on one side like that. And I'm gonna put a sponge there to prop that. I'm gonna take a second piece of clay, a very skinny piece of clay, and I'm gonna roll out what I call worms or coils, little, little thin ones. And then I'm gonna put that inside here to add some stability, all right? And then I'm gonna to continue to do this. I'm gonna put this one down here. And then I'm gonna put a little coil up the side. And you don't want these coils to be too thick because visually they can take away from the piece. So if I try to do this while the piece is up in the air like this, I will not have the same ability to press against something like, which is this, the table, the surface, so, okay? So what you'll see is it's pretty firm right now. It's not real pretty. We have a lot of cleaning up to do. But right here, I'm gonna show you how handy it is to use um, a wooden tool, wooden kitchen spoon um, or stir if you have it. And you can take that and you can start to get your edges closer and closer together. And the clay then will become more connected because you're using force to put the pieces together. You're forcing the seams together. You can also take some more of this clay and add it in there if you want. You could fill the hole from the outside. So the seams will look pretty bad at first. Sometimes you, as you're putting it together, it gets all messy, but then you'll make it um, neat and tidy later by cleaning it up. Okay, and the top often is the hardest part. The top will come apart, so you wanna make sure that you really connect that and smooth it out so that if it starts to crack, you can fix it right away, okay? Then you have your rib, which is very handy too, to get that nice clean edge back. Okay. So then you go ahead and you do each, each part of the sides the same way. Make sure you've attached each one really well. And I would attach each one before you do the next because then it's you're dealing with a firmer structure. 
Otherwise, sometimes the whole thing can just fall apart. This is an advanced project. This is not super easy. So then I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna add the other ones on the other side. They're opposites, let's see, and this. And I'll put the last one on. I will make sure that I add the worms on the inside. And then I'm also making sure that these are level. If you find that you have one side that's longer or shorter, the best thing is to cut it before you put it on. Okay. Um, and then you continue and add them on. And then when it's finished, you just need to make sure you go around and taking your sponge, you clean up all the edges, smoothing those out. You can also use your, your ribs to really smooth each surface. And as it dries, make sure that it does not crack. If you see cracking, then you can add more clay and you can always put a plastic bag over part of your work so that it can dry a little slower. So this is the lantern.